Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of September. I just want to remind everybody, this is a general reading. It is not going to be meant for everyone. Um, so take from it what you want or what, what resonates with you. If the rest doesn't resonate, that's fine. Um, you can always purchase a private reading from me. The information will be at the bottom of the video. You can email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and have the reading to you within 48 hours. Okay. All right. A little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient. I've been doing this for many years now. I feel like I have a really high um, accuracy rate. So uh, the way I do my readings is I pick up on energies, feelings, emotions of the people involved in the situation. Okay, so what I typically do is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out again. What are the messages for Aries for the month of September? Aries, month of September. Aries, month of September. All right, first card. Two of Cups. Wow. Aries, month of September. Aries, month of September. Aries, month of September. What are the messages for Aries for the month of September? Messages for Aries for the month of September. Aries, month of September. What are the messages for Aries for September? Aries for September. Aries for September. Aries for the month of September. Let's root down here. Aries for the month of September. for the month of September. Aries for the month of September. Try to get it in the frame of the camera here. What are the messages for Aries for the month of September? Aries for the month of September. Okay, so we have the very first card here, which represents the um, energies. It in indicates the relationship. Here we have the Two of Cups. Really nice energy. This is about past life connection. It is, um, you can see these two are facing each other. Um, this is about connecting mind, body, and soul. Lovely relationship. Really great vibes between the two of you for September. This also talks about um, uh, perhaps uh, marriage, proposal. Really, really um, lovely card. Okay, so this is about uh, partnership, proposal, marriage. That could be coming this month. It's just romantic love. Both of you guys are in love. All right, I'm just going to try and get a light here. That's it just seems a little bit dark. Whoops. Oh gosh, hold on here. Okay, I'm trying to get a better light for you guys somehow. Okay, hopefully that helps. Okay, so that's the energies between the two of you guys. It indicates the relationship. All right, so what's going on in their mind? All right, so what's going on in their mind? We have the King of Coins. They uh, want to be that solid, practical man that has material success. You can see that there's hearts here, uh, a heart on his shield. So 
this is someone who is working for the home, working for you. Um, really, it's just what's going on in their mind. They feel that this is a solid relationship. Okay, they could also be the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus male. Well, because this is a general reading, it could be male or female that you're dealing with. Okay, all right, then what's going on in your mind? Okay, so here we have the wisdom card, which is the high priestess. You are following your intuition, your gut. So this card is saying that uh, you have, this could be you having some information, all right? You being told by either your guides or your angels that um, this is the right move, okay? That you are heading the right way with this person, okay? All right. Princess of Arrows is next, and this is their emotions and their feelings. So they're, re they're reliable, but this Princess of Arrows talks about um, someone who tells the truth, all right? They're a little bit harsh, not very emotional, so they're not giving you very many things to go by emotionally, which is why you're using your intuition, following your gut. All right, so here we have the Princess of Arrows, which just, it just, it talks just that about, um, about someone who's a little bit detached when it comes to emotions. It is about um, articulation as well. And it's using the power of words. So they're not very emotional, but they're using power of words here, okay? Okay, so then we have the Ten of Coins. This is your emotions and feelings. You see that this is something that you can build with someone, a relationship. This is like the, the ultimate end of where you want to be. So the Ten of Coins is speaking about prosperity, expansion, moving in together perhaps. It's about great satisfaction creating a family to share wealth with. So emotionally, you see this person as being the one that you can be successful in accumulating things with, money, family, you know, uh, home. All right. Okay. So this is how you see each other, though. All right. We have, how do they see you? Here's the nine of arrows. Okay. So... The Nine of Arrows is about worry, anxiety, grief, um, nightmares, someone who is kept up at night, can't eat, can't sleep. It's about worries that keep one awake. So there's some sort of a worry here with them. Um, it's insomnia. It's unresolved issues. Uh... It's an issues that need to be looked at more closely. And then only things will be transformed. It's trials and tribulations. Okay. So they, and so then we have the seven of arrows. So here we have the seven of arrows, which talks about defense, caution, self-protection. It's feeling vulnerable and it's defending yourself with great difficulty and the need for caution and examination. What the hell's going on here between the two of you? Everything is great up until now. They have worries. You have, like, I don't know, like, they see you. This is a cheater card. All right, so this could be some mistrust here. Um, and they have it stuck in their head. So I don't know if there's something that's going on here that has got the mistrust in you in some way. But they've got worries regarding this situation. Okay. All right. I mean, overall, the energies here between the two of you are great. It's like a soulmate connection. You guys uh, connect on many, many levels. But there are some worries here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Aries? 
All right, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, there you go. That is the reading for all of you Aries out there. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, again, if you would like to get a private reading from me, email me and I will send you the information. All right, thank you for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting. I truly appreciate it and I hope you have a great month of September. Okay, bye-bye.